Alright, welcome back to the next video. This is a YouTube channel dedicated to teaching kids circus skills from the comfort of their own home. It was started during lockdown in the UK, so I'm trying to entertain children whilst they're not at school. The first video I did was learn to juggle using socks. Today we're going to learn three juggling tricks and I'm going to use juggling balls. So, first thing to say, this is a juggling cascade. So that's what I taught you in the sock juggling tutorial. You need to spend a bit of time sussing that out until it's really consistent. Aim for 20 catches. Then we're going to learn three tricks. The first trick is half shower, like that. The second trick is juggler's tennis. The third trick is reverse cascade. So, let me give you some explanation. When you're doing a cascade, you throw every ball goes under the next ball. You throw over, you throw under, 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 under. In a half shower, you're gonna throw one on the outside. So from the first throw, from your strong hand, you're gonna throw on the outside instead of underneath. You go throw, over, 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 over. So it's hard to explain, but as long as you tell yourself that this second throw is gonna be on the outside, it usually works. Maybe it works once, maybe it works twice. So you go first throw, over, and then you start normal. And then the next time you might try and do two over. And then gradually you build it up until you're doing a full half shower. It's gonna take a little bit of practice, but that's what juggling's about, okay? And now juggler's tennis is just a nice development on from the half shower. So you're doing normal juggling, and you go over, and then you go back, and then you go back, and then you go back, as if you're playing tennis. Smash! Reverse cascade would be a cascade in reverse. So if I reverse the clip now, you'll see exactly what a reverse cascade looks like. So you're going to start like you normally start juggling, and you're going to know that you're going to throw them on the outside. So it's like this sort of pattern. So you go outside, 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 outside. It's almost like you're learning to juggle all over again. It will quickly become natural because you've already got the cascade pattern in your head, you've already got the rhythm, you just need to throw them on the outside. Outside, 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 outside. Little bit of practice, then you've got three tricks that you can learn quite quickly. But the key thing here is getting that cascade, that first cascade is the hardest bit about learning to juggle. So you need to get that nailed before you try anything. Should we have a bonus trick? The bonus trick is called a multiplex. So that means you throw two balls up and you start juggling. You're going to throw two and then throw to start. That's called a multiplex. Once you've learned to do that, so throwing two and then starting, or you can, you can mix it up, you can throw it behind your back, or you can throw it under your leg. It's a really versatile trick and helps you a lot because a lot of things you can learn. You've got to try and make the balls split in the air. Maybe you hold your middle finger between the balls and you throw it and they split and you throw. So as you throw them in the air, as these two start to fall, you throw the next one and you catch those two. Okay? It's all great for your coordination. So up and then go. I hope that's okay for you. It's a little bit fast paced. I'm assuming you've spent a lot of time practicing juggling with socks now. So hopefully if you can do 30 catches, 40 catches, these tricks will come quite quickly now. And then you can soon enough, soon enough you'll have a juggling routine ready to perform and take my job. Thanks very much. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like, share, comment, interact with me. That would be great. Thanks very much. Enjoy your day.